Welcome to this Swell Pro tutorial video. In this video, we will introduce how to carry out the compass calibration and the accelerometer calibration of the Splash Drone 3. Here, let's take the auto version as an example. Due to probable changes in magnetic fields and flight environments, it is recommended that you complete the calibration before the first flight. And if you have relocated to a position more than 100 kilometers from the location of the previous calibration, if the flight site changes, be sure to calibrate the compass. There are two ways to calibrate the compass. The quick calibration is done by calibrating the two primary axes, horizontal and vertical. The full calibration is done by calibrating the six axis for increased accuracy. Quick compass calibration. Place the drone onto a horizontal surface. Power the controller on, then power the drone on. After the D sound, Fast flick the GPS Smart Cruise ATTI mode switch up and down. When the yellow light is on, the system enters into compass calibration mode. Holding the drone horizontally, rotate it in a counterclockwise direction until the green LED turns on. Turn the drone 90 degrees to a vertical plane, with the nose pointing downward. Rotate the drone counterclockwise until the LED changes to a blinking red, green, yellow, indicating the completion of the calibration. If the calibration procedure was not successful, the red light will stay on for three seconds. If this is the case, you will need to redo the calibration or carry out a full compass calibration. Full compass calibration. Place the drone on a horizontal surface. Power the controller on, then power the drone on. After D sounds, flick the return home switch to return home position. Pull the left joystick to the lower left corner, 45 degrees. The right joystick to the upper left corner, 45 degrees. Maintain this position for two seconds. The LED changes to a blinking red, green, yellow. The drone has entered into the full compass calibration mode. We will refer to the face of a clock for positional reference. 12, 3, 6, 9 o'clock. In the horizontal plane, rotate the drone counterclockwise for a full rotation, 360 degrees. Now, turn the drone on its back. Rotate the drone counterclockwise for a full rotation, 360 degrees. Turn the drone vertically, nose up, 12 o'clock and rotate the drone counterclockwise for a full rotation, 360 degrees. While vertical, nose to the left, 3 o'clock, rotate the drone counterclockwise for a full rotation, 360 degrees. While vertical, nose pointing down, 6 o'clock, perform a counterclockwise rotation on 360 degrees. Finally, still in a vertical position, nose pointing to the right, 9 o'clock, Perform a counterclockwise rotation for 360 degrees. Now, place the drone on a horizontal surface for about 90 seconds. The LED will change to slow green flashing. The calibration is completed. After a successful calibration, the drone motors can be unlocked. Switch to normal from return home mode and try to unlock the motors in ATTI mode. If the motors cannot be unlocked, the calibration was not successful. Please relocate to another place and repeat the above calibration procedure. Next, we introduce the accelerometer calibration. Accelerometer calibration is necessary in any of the following cases. First time use of the drone. If, when pushing up the throttle joystick, without moving the right aileron joystick, the drone drift at an angle while in ATTI mode, if the drone tilts at a significant angle while in ATTI mode, place the drone on a horizontal surface, power the controller on, then power the drone on. After hearing a D-tone, switch to return home mode on the controller. Place the left joystick into the right lower corner, 45 degree position and the right joystick into the upper right corner, 45 degree position. Maintain the above position for two seconds until the light changes to the fast blink red, green, yellow. The drone then enters into its accelerometer calibration mode. Wait until the light stops blinking. 
Now release the joysticks. The accelerometer calibration is now complete. After completing the calibrations of compass and accelerometer, please restart the splash drone. That concludes this tutorial on the compass and accelerometer calibration of the Splash Drone 3. We wish you a pleasant flight. Thank you for watching. From the team at Swellpro, the pioneers of the waterproof drones.